Hello and welcome back to another episode of Mary and George. We're on episode five. I am just excited to get into it. Like, at the end of the last episode, I was saying that I don't know where this show's going. I don't know, like, what more we're going to get. I don't know what downfalls we're going to be shown, what risings we're going to have. And that really excites me because I can't really pick because I don't... Like, I know they want to, you know, if you if I looked like that, I'd take over the world. You know, that sort of thing. We want the king's favour. We want to further our, our, our family. And I understand all that. But I don't know, like, what our real end goal is or where we want to get to or what could possibly happen with us. Um, so it's really interesting and really fun just having that, like, where I'm just on this ride. I don't know where I'm going to be fucking taken. Everything's crazy and I'm having the best time. Do I want more crazy raunchiness? Yes, a little bit. But other than that, having the best time, I'm just excited to get into this one. If you'd like to watch the uh, full-length reaction along with me, uh, I have a link to my Patreon down below. Like and subscribe, that would be wonderful. And let's get into it. So what I'm wondering is, how much is it worth to a man of my loyalty to not let the real truth be known? Oh, he might just shoot you. All that you can give, I will take, so. <laughs> okay, what if, <coughs> what if he can't give a lot? What if he gives you a bullet? into the heart <laughs> or a knife I was on the right track you know I knew you were dead god if you just had a little bit more observational skills you might be alive because we knew he was gonna take you out I feel like I should know who it is like you know just like context or like history or something but i'm like not nah, just just some guy that i don't know who it is but like i'll find out the golden city <gasps> oh mm, are you lonely yeah well I'm more frustrated and you my dear i plow on oh my god <laughs> she doesn't plow on she's getting He's plowed you a countess. no need to whisper I a countess. Uh, your new title? I thought you understood our agreement. We're not sharing power. Why should I share what I attain with you? I mean, he helped. It would be nice. Oh, I know how a woman feels. How does it feel, honestly? Dog sh. Oh. <laughs> your other girl, once a maid, now dressed like a bloody. Lady in waiting. Lady in waiting. Please stop gabbing on. You're boring me. Am I? I mean, you've got to stand here forever anyway, right? There, aren't you? This yes, we are. I don't oh, fancy God. another move. He says it like, is Sodom a place? Because <laughs> he said it like, you belong. Ooh. Hello, everyone. You're looking rather dashing. And George, step back a bit. Why? I think I'm all right here, mother. He's like, I'm pretty cool now. Don't, I'm in, I want to be in the forefront. Look at him. Be a little, oh no, is the power going to his head? Oh wait, that's just the kid. Doing his usual crap. And no one knows how to put up with them. Wow, they're just as crazy. It's just like, We've switched from Somerset and his family to our family here, dealing with the craziness. But it does look fun. As long as you can, like, not piss him off and eat some good food, I'd be happy. What happened? Without provocation, an English force attacked the Spanish troops, led by a man we told you to keep here in the tower. Oh. Treason against his majesty. So that's the guy we saw at the start. Hey, George, you know him, yeah? So what a rally. In school, we used to dress up as him, hunt for treasure. Have we not grown up since? Rally. Oh, my gosh. Arrest him, sire. Then have him executed. He has... Executed. 
Patrice. We don't know yet Raleigh's account. Maybe he says he was attacked yeah, first. Whatever he says, we support him. The very idea that the state would slay him on the say of some so Catholic Emma. Oh my God, we're, wait, you got angry. It's your majesty. Raleigh's a hero to many, not just our children. <laughs> no, Diego, we hear you. But Raleigh's save must be held first. Yes, but what if he did just attack? Or I cannot pacify my nation. Yeah, they'll be pissed. And do we want war? Well, actually, I don't... There's a lot of wars in history, so... You good people choose right. <laughs> I just sound so ignorant. Did I say the wrong thing? Um... Huh. No. No, you still have much to learn. And you said you were going to teach us. But I did say I would teach you my love, didn't I? Yes, you did. So, could we take like the quick, like, speedy crash course to like get your degree in like you four weeks? Sit on the Privy Council with me. <gasps> of course, the Privy Council. Learn from your king. It would be nice to see him do some like kingly stuff because we only see him party and act somewhat a fool. It would be interesting to see if he takes it in a different light or not. You're right. The existence of El Dorado. But just before all this horror, we saw evidence. Evidence? What evidence? Oh no, and you're going to appeal to George because he believes in your stories. Old arteries to the heart of it all. A shimmering city of gold. A shimmering city of gold, like the title. Peoples that England will find. Don't win. I don't know that story. Isn't there a movie called El Dorado? Loving man killed himself. Is that right? The captain who served with me took his own life in shame. Oh, well, we know that one not to be true. You lost a lot in Guyana, didn't you? Yeah, you can't believe all this. You're trusting, as we said last episode. True cost of valor. He's a good actor. Like, actor, but actor in this acting. Because he's lying about certain things. I know. My son knew. And that is why, with his last breath, he begged that I never give up my search. Hmm, how much of this is fucking fabricated? City, when I return. Return? You're not serious, man. Uh, you already nearly started a whole war. It won't. <gasps> no. You, you will return. Okay, George, you don't get to make these decisions. Just because she believed his stories. Like. What? what did you say? Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Tense. Even if El Dorado is a real, I still. Fucking that. It's about starting a war. Trying to be fair. I said sin to be fair. Fuck. Yeah. No. Fuck is correct. I'm. Well, James, to, I'm sorry. What did I say? What just calm down. Fucking life. You just fucking listen to our fucking. <laughs> I love his little tantrum. But like, I agree. This one you shouldn't have. Spanish anger, and you tread on his toes. So what would you have me do? Have Raleigh hung? No, do nothing now. Yeah, you've already. If the Queen's happy. We might uh, use that. I was supposed to be the one leaving him. Yes, but patiently. With me. Yeah, you kind of just went for your own agenda. To yours, no dowry fast. I have given you everything, and still you try to milk every last drop. Yes, she wants all the power. Mine. He will forever be mine. So fuck Rutland, fuck Catherine, and fuck you. Oh, don't say it. <laughs> She's like, you'll not get away with that. Fuck you. I will take your tongue. <gasps> oh, she's losing control. And she's not going to let that happen. Control is her power. He is of beauty and she is of control. Mary is a lover. Once a working prostitute, now a... Well, still a whore, but with slightly better clothes. Yeah, I bet she's cool though. Don't take her out. Them killed a man. Poisoned him and another who lived. How would I believe a fucking word that... Well, it's... We know in yourself yeah. what she's capable of. We know she could do that. She could definitely do it. Like, with a, like a snap of her fingers, she would kill a man. 
That's why we <laughs> that's why we like her. To fly alone. Oh, he just he wants the power to himself, but he needs to separate him from his mother before he can stick his claws in. Or his little trotters, because he is Sir Bacon. <laughs> that was horrible. I'm sorry. Would like to formally apologize. Things could be heard all the way in Madrid. <laughs> that's not what he said to us. And he's begging tears and he changes his story depending on who he's telling it to. Oh, and you're our man, Diego. Just like our king, Diego just wants peace. Yes. I be happy. Peace is what I would like too. My biggest regret is that I did not cut off this head and bring it to you all as a message. So he's all talk. And he kills everyone so he can just get his stories out so no one can tell the real truth. Yes. Yeah, no, I'm. I don't. Honestly, there's so many people whispering. I don't know whose side to take, but this rally guy doesn't seem to be one to be trusted. Just once, a rally breeze. Diego seems like war a good is like character, and also war sucks. At least you made the people marry. Though if I see here or smell another fucking firework, I'll we <laughs> Oh. I love how... You know what? King's kind of funny. I like how just honest he is. I wonder if he does enjoy his time with the king. Like, I wonder what's real in it. What Put your head he on my want? chest. I'll not be seduced. You're not unforgiven, I and I'm no. in no mood. But but if if you're like open invitation, you're always aroused. <laughs> <laughs> He's a youthful man. You smell of sweat and grime. What have you been up to? Uh, s s yeah, sleeping with ladies. Ugh. Listen. To be him. How does it feel? Living my dream. Yeah. This is very silly. What? No, it's kind of sweet. But what do I listen for? I would fall asleep in like a second. Ignore Gondomar. Bacon. Coke. Bacon and Coke. Sounds like a lovely dinner. <laughs> Me. What do you want to what do? What do you think should really be done with Raleigh? Chop off his head. That is up to you, your majesty. You are the king. Yeah, to be fair, do what you want. He's wanted peace with Spain. Take what does it. Your heart say will bring it. Off with his head. Fate. Does Raleigh deserve? Yeah, that lying fucking bitch. He's telling all the different stories. Just take something for yourself. Do what you want. Also, peace is kind of like a good option. Granted, if you kill him, everyone might rebel. So, like, it's a tricky situation. I do agree. Oh, yeah, you hear the crowds. Oof. But he was also going to, like, he was going to try and probably take you again. It's interesting, too, because they kind of got what they wanted out of George, but he let them... He let the king decide for himself, but it all worked out. Oof. Oh, the chop. The big chop chop. Yikes. Okay, I thought we are doing hanging. Do you know what? This is kind of... Is, okay, none of them are great, but, like, is this better? Only my people have seen you close. Like, is this a bit more instantaneous of a death? God forgives me for my sins. I wonder if he know. He's like, ooh, did maybe I do deserve this? As others refuse to dare. Okay, you gotta stay strong, George. To heaven. My oh purpose. God. God, to just know when it's gonna happen. Ay, ay, ay. 
We've really got a viewing party here. Okay, George. You stress me out a little. I'm a bit worried what you're going to do. I'm a bit worried to see this also. Do I have to like... Do I have to like hide? Strike one. Yeah, strike. Take it. Just get it over with. Please, because I'm... I'm... I'm stressed. I'm on the edge. Oh! Oh! You didn't strike well at all! No, that's such a bad end! Oh no, I'd prefer- no! That was quite awful! He didn't even do- oh my god, I would've- oh! I would hire a better executioner, cause I feel like one swing's a bit better. He didn't even have a nice big- maybe like what I think a beheading is? is different than to the reality of it, but Jesus. Yikes, where are they taking his head? Is it like proof? Oh shit. Oh, that guy's got a club. Oh yeah, they're gonna rally. To be fair, you guys kind of stormed in and then didn't have a plan. Yeah, I feel like if you storm it in, you gotta, you gotta go for what you believe. Or gold, I didn't, I didn't do anything. You made Changed him it. pick the choice. That's the story we shall tell. To be fair, it kind of was. Good boy. Oh, don't speak to him like that. Is this kind of like a father figure that you long for? God, and you have so much power without knowing it, but you do know it. So what now? If George What's does not bend. Plan. War. War with your son? War with your son? Wild. Absolutely bloody fucking wild. Shit's going down. Like, there's so many people. You know, whispering. I feel like if you're in a position like I am, where you don't know literally anything about anything, you're a big dummy dumb. Uh, <laughs> wow, I put myself down. We're kind of, I feel like I'm in the same boat as George going through this, this like, this experience, this life of his, this, this show. Because everyone that's whispering in his ears is like, in a way, but you know, by proxy, whispering in mine, everything that they tell and we see, we hear as well, I hear as well, and I listen, and you, you kind of follow him along this journey, and you listen to certain people, like, obviously, I like his mum, like, I like Mary more than Bacon, and I like Coke more than Bacon, um, and I like Brooks more than everyone, but, like, you... You hear all these whispers and you, I, you like, who do you listen to? Who's true? Everyone's, nothing's even, like, is there correct answers or is everything just for other people to gain something over someone else? I feel like that's why I really do like Brooks as a character. Uh, the things she seems to want and pick is kind of more based in morals and, like, decisions for people and the good because she is not of this power hungry like she is and she isn't obviously siding with mary but she was like you know let her go or something or i'll leave too and she just has this more like i know what's going on in this world while you guys all play this like you're all playing the game and like it is affecting real people and it's, it's just very interesting to see and how all these small decisions lead to these big ones, like the riots, but who's lying, who do you believe, who do you trust? Everything is is game and talk, and it's it's very, like, fun to try and navigate. But it's also, like, scary. It's like, I couldn't imagine living that. Like, the fun, it's, you know, high highs and low lows. The, like, the fun bits of that we get to see, the orgies, the kings, all the... The, the food and the uh, the clothes is all cool and amazing, but then you get to, like, the reality of, of the decisions. You're like, holy shit, like, 
you know, whether you're making good or bad decisions or you're doing them for good or bad reasons, like everything has effects and it's stressful and you got to think so. It's just a crazy world. Um, but it's very interesting to watch and I love seeing what's going on and I can't wait to see what this war Mary speaks of is and how they're going to try and resolve it. Because obviously and ultimately she wants her control and her power, like control is her power and that is what she wants to gain back. Um... But for now, that's it for me. A, a very, a very fun episode, very interesting episode. Um, but I, I hope you enjoyed it and having a great day. And I hope to see you in the next one.